Good afternoon, everybody. Phil Simons with Columbia Grain here in your Friday afternoon weekly grain market recap. Well, not a whole heck of a lot actually happened from a fresh fundamental standpoint here this week, but let's go ahead and dive right into it. I'm going to share my screen with you again here. We'll navigate to our favorite website, ColumbiaGrain.com, and over in the upper right-hand corner, we can navigate to our producer solutions link. Let's take a look at a few things here, but like I did say uh, at the beginning here, it really wasn't a whole heck of a lot of fresh fundamental data uh, really driving the markets. Really, we did see things really center more around weather concerns uh, or the lack thereof of weather concerns, along with uh, continuation of the Black Sea uh, developments and dealings there. So really did see some pretty good sized ranges in terms of overall prices that we saw in the week here. But really, let's take a look at uh, some other things as well. I mean, weekly export sales that came out here this morning, actually fairly decent. Uh, for a change uh, from what we had been seeing over the last couple of weeks. Uh, but new crop corn uh, had a pretty decent sales of 16 and a half million um, bushels here last week. When we look at new crop soybeans, new, new crop soybeans came in at 21.8 million bushels. So actually some decent sales there. Uh, wheat all wheat came in at just under 15 million uh, for last week's export sales. Uh, spring wheat was pretty much the, the biggest uh, benefactor there of the by class wheat anyway, coming in at 7 million bushels. Uh, winter wheat, harder winter wheat was was kind of the dog there at only 300,000. Uh, soft red at 2.5 million and soft white wheat had a pretty good week of sales last week as well, uh, coming in at 4.7 million uh, there too. So pretty decent, you know, an overall uh, in, in what we had been seeing over the last uh, couple months really. Um, next week, we will have uh, the July on July 12th on Wednesday, we'll have the fresh uh, supply and demand monthly report from the USDA. So be sure to, to keep your eyes open for that one. Uh, but how we settled the week here this week uh, for new crop futures anyway, uh, ranges were pretty big once again, but when the dust settled here, uh, things were pretty well muted. Uh, quite honestly, this week. But when we look at new crop corn, Dees corn had a weekly range of 24 cents. I was actually able to hold on to a net gain of two cents on the week. Uh, when we look at new crop beans, uh, Nov beans, we see that the weekly range was 74 cents, but we actually closed the week out with a net loss of 26 cents there. Uh, next up, take a look at the wheat markets, the wheat pits starting in Kansas. Uh, the weekly ranges were again pretty big at 65 cents. Uh, but when the dust settled here today, we were actually only able to hold on to a gain of 19 cents in, in Kansas. And Chicago wheat, December anyway, we had a, a weekly range of 39 cents. Uh, when, the, when the dust settled here today, it was actually a big goose egg. There was no change uh, week on week there in the futures market anyhow. Uh, next up and final, when we take a look at Minneapolis Dees, we see the weekly range was 55 cents there. Actually held on to a net gain of 35 cents, so pretty decent uh, for spring wheat anyhow. Uh, but really, that's that's really about uh, about it for the week. Next week, again, we will have the uh, the latest round of fresh fundamental data from the uh, USDA and the S&Ds, and that'll be coming out on Wednesday. So be sure to get your orders out ahead of that. Be sure to take care of any of these knee-jerk uh, reactions that we continue to see in the markets. Again, keep your eye on weather is going to be the biggest driver right now, along with any uh, potential Black Sea developments as they continue to uh, really figure out what they're going to do as they move forward. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and wrap everything up. I uh, just want to say have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk with you next week. And remember, the best way to make a small fortune is to start with a large one. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk with you next week. Yeah.